Hello, today I'm going to talk about transitioning into ketosis and induction. Um, typically you want to start with about 5% carbohydrates. I'm talking total carbohydrates. This is 25. Um, some people can go down to 50. It depends on where you're starting, first of all. And um, <clears throat> it's smart to titrate down, in my opinion. It helps to do this instead of cutting all of them. I wouldn't suggest um, going straight to zero carb if you're just trying to transition into ketosis. Um, so I'm not talking net carbs, which are the carbohydrate content after you subtract the fiber and some sugar alcohols, um, which usually I just do urethritol is what I subtract, um, xylitol and other stuff like that. Not so much. Um, I will talk about that in another video with sweeteners. Protein. Um, protein is typically around 15% is what I suggest. I would not go any higher. Even if you're trying to lose fat and get very lean body mass and gain muscle, when you're transitioning and in, um, in the induction phase, it's really important to send a clear signal to your body and your brain that you're giving it fat to use as fuel. Um, there's a lot of protein fear and a lot of people um, feel very strongly one way or another about protein, but what I suggest is to start low and figure out your comfort zone, figure out what works best for you. That is literally how you get into ketosis is um, finding the balance. Um, we're all very different. Your activity level plays a big part. If you have metabolic um, disorders, that plays a huge part in it as well. And Sometimes the the whole glucagon and insulin um, signaling can be kind of wonky if you're if you're messing with those macros too much. So I recommend to just just try something, set something up, and stick to it for two weeks if you can, unless you just feel like crap and take notes. Um, when you do feel like crap, take notes when you feel the best uh, about what you're doing. It really does help. Fat, I recommend at least 80% starting out. Um, you can get these sources of fat from coconut oil. You can get it from ghee, olive oil, animal fats, saturated fats. Don't, um, I don't recommend using safflower, canola oil, um, that kind of stuff. It's, it, it, um, it changes your DNA, literally. Um, so if you're looking to lower inflammation and become more healthy, give your body good, clean fuel. Um, even if you're in ketosis, you still want to be eating clean foods, good, real food, real food. And I'm not talking about, um, you know, drinking your, your oil for breakfast either. I know a lot of people can do this, but I would not recommend it starting out. Don't recommend fasting starting out. Um, getting to bed between 9 and 10 is really, really helpful. Stretching, try to do some yoga if you can. Stay very hydrated. Get yourself an electrolyte supplement. Um, they have a lot of a lot of supplements out there. If you just jump on Amazon, Google or Amazon search um, electrolyte ketosis or electrolytes for keto. Most of the electrolytes um, will already say keto, paleo. Um, paleo friendly, gluten free. Um, it's really, it's really hitting the the market pretty big now. So I don't think you'll have any trouble finding that. But if you don't want to get supplements, you don't have to. You can get a um, just a Himalayan salt, huh, Himalayan.
Himalayan salt. Has anyone ever licked their Himalayan salt lamp? Because I've licked both of mine. It's salty. Um, just get some Himalayan pink salt, put it in your water, or if you feel like you're not absorbing that, if you start getting diarrhea from that, some people do, um, you can make a, a Soleil drink, which is just a fourth of a cup of Himalayan salt in a mason jar. Fill up the mason jar with filtered water, put a lid on it, preferably a plastic lid, and in the morning you should see probably just a little bit of salt. If all the salt is gone, you need to add more. So you can use that solution, um, just a half a teaspoon in your tea in the morning, in your water throughout the day, and that way you know that you're actually drinking water that has all the minerals in it absorbed for sure, um, versus, you know, grains of salt possibly being absorbed you know, it's just a way to be sure um, and get it in fast. If you're if you're not getting your electrolytes, you will feel like crap. But there are a lot of other things that will make you feel crappy. Um, also, just be aware that you're gonna be tired. Um, you're you're training your body to use different fuel, and you're trying to um, get through all those glycogen glycogen stores. So, um, don't give it glucose. I don't recommend using sweeteners at first. I would wait until at least the second week and then use safe sweeteners like um, alcohol-free liquid stevia. The vanilla is really good. If you want to do um, hemp <clears throat> protein shakes, Nativa makes a hemp protein powder and there are I think there's one net carb or zero net carbs. Hemp seeds are a really good source. Um, but when you're first starting out I really do highly recommend sticking to whole foods um, and you're gonna feel satiety. You're gonna feel satiated and this is good. This is what you need to feel. This is, um, it's all new, but it will, it will turn into something beautiful and trust me, it will, um, it will get better and better. You just have to hang in there. And there are a couple of supplements that I typically recommend like chromium, um, stabilize your blood sugar. There are some um, digestive enzymes that might be good. Genetian bitters, um, betaine, pepsin, those types of things. Or you could just get some sauerkraut and have a, a little tablespoon of that with your food. Um, fermented foods are very helpful. Um, so those are just a few tips into transitioning. Take it easy and feel free to reach out to me if you're looking for help. Offering free 30-minute um, consultations and we'll go from there. Take care.